Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I figured out how to use the green screen. I think it looks so much better um, than being tra trapped inside that box. I think it's like, um, it feels more like I'm connected to the game, like I'm inside the game, or like, why can't I climb this thing? Um, and like I'm connected to you and the game, and like I can, I can reach out and like pat Link on the head or something. I don't know. I can't see where I am, but <laughs> like Link, he's right there. I'm gonna grab him. Or, or it's probably on this side. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's a lot better. Yeah, I was what I was like. I should try to figure out how to do it again because it's so much better to to do the green screen. Hopefully it's working. Um, I did check it. Yeah, I did check it because I remember I was. Like, I don't really like how I look this episode. These on these episodes. Um, it's the lighting. I blame the lighting. If there was different lighting, I would look like um, Tom Holland. I promise. <laughs> That's his name, right? For some reason, when I said it, it sounded wrong. Spider-Man. Um, I guess I wanted to try to do a note today about the book. So I'm reading a book called Hero with a Thousand Faces. I'm not as into it as I thought I would be, but, um, and so I don't really have any interesting notes. Well, I don't have notes that are, oh yeah, I did kind of want to see how to hatch this thing during the break, but I think you just wait until daytime. So we're, we are in the book. Um, well, the reason why I wanted to read this book is because it kind of lays out the structure of stories in a way that pretty much everybody agrees. I don't think... I don't think anybody's ever disagreed with, like, the structure part of this book. Um, he kind of separates stories into three sections. There's departure, then there's the other two, which I forget, but we're on the departure part of the book. <clears throat> and the first part of departure is Call to Adventure. That's the first thing that happens in a story, is the call to adventure. Um, and he gave this, he, he told this story of this princess who has a golden ball and tosses it. And one day she drops the ball and it goes into a lake or a river. And she's sad. Um, what was the call to adventure? It hatched. <clears throat> the miracle of life. Um, he, 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 I understand why people love this book so much because he, what do I have to do? Yeah, he just the reason why people like this book so much is he describes stories in such an interesting interesting way. He's like um <laughs> So it's kind of this boring story about this princess who throws a ball up in the air and catches it. And one day she doesn't catch it. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting <laughs> and interesting. Um it falls into a river and he, and um and she meets a frog, and the frog says, um, 
I'll give you whatever you want if... I forget how to do this. If I get you the ball... Oh no, he says, if I get you the ball, you have to do something for me. And she's like, yeah, whatever. And he's like, I want I want to be like your pet. If, if, you, if I get you the ball, you have to like feed me and, and let me sit by your bed while you sleep or whatever. And the princess is like, yeah, sure. So the way he describes, he says a chance blunder reveals a strange world. Um, I guess that's a lot of, that's, that's the way a lot of stories start is like, um, the call to adventure is like a, it's a blunder, like something weird happens. It's mo sometimes it's not the, the main character's fault. Like sometimes it's like, in this story, I guess it is her fault. She drops the ball, but in some stories it's like, something happens. I don't know. There's like, you're like a kid and maybe like your village burns down and then you have to leave and go on this adventure. That's, that would be something that's like a blunder that like, is not your fault. And it reveals a new world. And he, he talks a lot about psychoanalysis. So he's like, this world that you go into is kind of like this unconscious world. You were, you were in your world and something happened, something changed, something weird. And now you're in this new world where you're gonna like learn new powers and learn, you're gonna learn about the universe, about how it works, something interesting, if it's a good story. <clears throat> um, he called the frog the herald, um, the frog is the herald. So I guess it's sometimes in stories, there's a herald who signals the call to adventure. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Um, Freud says that blunders aren't by chance. He mentioned that and I thought it was interesting, but I don't really know. <clears throat> I don't have anything to say about it. So good job for bringing it up. I want those rupees. Let's see, I'll try it once and see if I can get them. Those are all the notes I had for the call to adventure, but I feel like he didn't really get into it that much. Okay, that's good enough. No, what happened? I was too close. Do I still keep the rupees? No. The most interesting thing well, not the most interesting. The most interesting thing so far, so the most interesting thing out of two things, <laughs> is um, is part two. So part one is Call to Adventure. I guess that's kind of boring. It's just like, there's gonna be a story, so obviously there has to be a point at the story where it's like, here's where you go from <clears throat> your old life to your new life. And that's the Call to Adventure. Um, Because otherwise, what your, what's your story about? Just like going to the dry cleaners and, and nothing happens. <laughs> I guess you could write a story about that. <laughs> um, but a story is always like you go to a dry cleaners and nothing happens. And the next day you go to a dry cleaner and then um, the dry cleaner explodes or something. I don't know. <laughs> Um, can I sneak up here? No, 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 no. Go back. <laughs> Part two is the refusal of the call to adventure. 
that's that's something that's really important I think in stories sometimes when a story doesn't have the refusal it's um go 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 I don't, I don't know I guess I'll try to look now whenever I watch a movie if there is a refusal to of the call but I feel like that's the most interesting thing it's like <clears throat> A character saying something like I don't want to do this I don't I, like in in mythical stories it's like I don't want to I'm not I'm not I'm not important enough to do this like I'm not this isn't my job I'm just like this normal boring guy I'm not supposed to do I'm not the important person I'm not the hero um, He says, um, the hero is walled in boredom, hard work, or culture, loses the power, life feels meaningless, refusal, refusal to give up what one thinks is their best interest. Um, I guess that's interesting. People don't want to... They don't want to change. They don't want to go on adventures because they think it's better. They don't want to break what's the, like the status quo. Like they don't want to change their culture. They don't want to change their lives, their boredom, whatever. Um, they don't want anything to disrupt that. And so something comes into their life that it's like, in, it's it's unignorable. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really explain yet what causes the the hero to accept the call. Like obviously you refuse it, but you have to accept it eventually. <clears throat> I think he says like most of the time it's just kind of like by accident. Something forces the character like along a path. Which I don't think is very interesting. Like, wouldn't it be more interesting for the character to choose to go on the adventure than for him them to be forced? Like, that's kind of what happens in, a lot in mythology, I think, is like... Or even like Lord of the Rings or something. Um, oh, I think I should stop here. Like, the it's the character's destiny to go on this journey. And they really have no choice. Um... I like choice in stories. Like I like characters making choices. Man, my throat hurts. I gotta keep talking. Okay. I think I'm gonna do eight episodes today. Uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good day.